in this question two neutral particle like uh, identical metal balls each of radius r and mass m are connected by light inextensible conducting thread of length l the balls are held in free space with separation between their centers which is small l as on the figure and uh, this uh, radius is much much less than l and uh, this is less than the capital l which is the length of this string now everywhere a uniform electric field directed along the line during the centers of the ball is switched on and then the balls are released find maximum speed of the balls in the subsequent motion so let's see how to solve this so uh, this is the initial situation where electric field is switched on and uh, the distance between these two identical balls uh, is equal to l so if we switch on this electric field so due to this electric field there will be a potential difference between these two balls okay so there will be potential difference and uh, uh, if these two balls are connected by a conducting wire then uh, charge will flow from one ball to another ball in such a way that the potentials uh, become equal so potential difference between these two balls uh, at any instant should be equal to zero okay so charge must flow something like that so suppose if uh, this ball is uh, i call this as a and suppose this ball is b so electric field direction is towards right so this is the direction of electric field and in the direction of electric field we know that potential decreases so this uh, will be at the lower potential and this will be at a higher potential so now to balance the potential uh, it must gain a positive charge okay it must gain a positive charge and it must gain some negative charge so that it comes to higher potential due to its positive charge it comes to lower potential due to its negative charge so potential then will be balanced so finally the potential should become equal va should be equal to vb and uh, we can easily see that due to electric field due to this electric field we can say positive charge will flow from here and it will go to this uh, ball b okay or uh, equivalently you can say electron from here will travel to ball a so ball a will be negatively charged and ball b will be positively charged and as uh, the balls are charged balls are charged then uh, due to charges ball will experience uh, forces also so let me draw the diagram at uh, some general instant because uh, th if this ball gets negative charge and this ball gets positive charge so on positive charge due to this electric field force will be towards right and on this negative charge due to this electric field uh, the force will be towards left okay so the balls will start the balls will be started separating from each other due to the forces of electric field and they will exert force due to their own charges also okay so they will exert force due to their own charges also so this separation is going to change and this uh, string will not exert any force because the string uh, is slack initially and length of the string is capital l which is more than this uh, length obviously so let's say at some general instant if i draw the diagram at some general instant let's say these are the two balls a and b and this uh, a ball will have some negative charge and b ball will have some positive charge so let's say this is minus q and this is plus q okay so on this minus q and plus q forces let me show the forces first so forces due to electric field so electric field force will be like this electric field force will be like this so these are the forces due to electric field so this is qe and this is qe opposite directions and they will exert force on each other due to their charges also okay so due to their own charges they will experience a force like this so force will be kq this will be attractive force so it will be kq square by uh, distance between these two and this is kq square by distance square okay so these are the two forces i can show it like this so we can easily see the net force on this system of these two charges net force on this system of these two charges will be zero okay so f net whatever be the charges okay it will not depend on the values of charge but net force we can definitely say it will be zero and if net force is zero initially this ball for at rest so center of mass of the system will have zero acceleration and center of mass will not move also okay center of mass will not move there is no displacement of center of mass also so there is no displacement of center of mass so what i can do is i can take my origin or reference point at the center of mass itself and i can take 
the uh, line joining these two line joining these two as x axis suppose this is my x axis so this is the line joining the two charges okay so this is my x axis and obviously this is my y axis okay so if this is my x axis so i can say this uh, distance distance between the charges so this distance is at an instant let's say this is equal to x and this distance is also equal to x okay so this will have negative x coordinate and this will have positive x coordinate at any point of time so this electrostatic forces i can write this electrostatic forces to be equal to this is k q square and distance is 2x so it will be 4x 4x square and it is also k q square divided by 4x square so potentials are equal so potentials are equal when i go from a to b so uh, due to their own charges uh, poten potential of a will be lower because it has negative charge and due to electric field e potential of a will be higher because uh, e uh, is towards right and in the direction of in the direction of electric field potential decreases okay i am ignoring the potential contribution due to one charge uh, on the another charge okay so if i write potential due to their own charges so va should be equal to minus kq by r due to their own charge and vb is uh, kq by radius okay so in writing va due to the due to their own charges in writing va i am ignoring the term like uh, i am ignoring the term like kq by x okay so due to this charge due to this plus q the potential of this minus q will be the potential of a will be kq divided by the distance to x and here this x will be much much greater than r so i am ignoring this kind of terms okay so in writing va due to charges i am just writing uh, minus kq by r uh, and plus kq by r for this vb and now what is the potential difference potential difference due to their own charges potential difference due to own charges so this potential difference magnitude wise this will be 2 kq by r and this potential difference should be balanced by the potential difference due to this electric field okay so this is balanced this is balanced by potential difference due to electric field due to that uniform electric field and what is the potential difference between these two so between these two potential difference will be Uh, the distance between these two will be 2x so e into 2x because what electric field is uh, uniform so this e into 2x and this 2 kq by r this should be equal and then only va is equal to vb so from here i can find charge for some x value okay so for general x value so q is equal to this will be e r x divided by k what is k here k is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught so this is erx by k and this charge is directly proportional to x now we have to find the maximum velocity so this charges this charges are moving away from each other and obviously the maximum velocity will be when the string becomes tight okay so after that there will be a jerk and they will come to a halt because there is no net force and center of mass is not moving so they will come to a halt after a jerk so the maximum velocity will be just before uh, the string becomes tight and just before the string becomes tight the distance between these two will be the capital l distance between these two will be capital l and these uh, coordinates will be capital l by 2 so initially these coordinates are small l by 2 and finally these coordinates will be the capital l by 2 so what should i what should i do is i i will write the net force on any one of the particles okay any one of the charged particles so let me write the net force so if i write the net force on this one so it will be qe minus this kq square divided by 4x square and now we should put the value of charge okay so we know the value of charge as a function of x so this put the charge if you put the charge then you will get uh, the following expression i am writing directly this is e square r by k into x minus e square r square divided by 4k so this is the value of net force and work done by the net force will be equal to the change in kinetic energy apply work energy theorem okay so i am applying work energy theorem here on just one charge let uh, let us 
call this charge as B. Uh, this is the net force on that charge. So this is F net D. If this is the net work done by the net external force on this charge and there is no tension here and this will be equal to change in kinetic energy delta ke and delta ke is simply initially it was at rest and by symmetry the velocity will be equal for both okay so because vcm is zero momentum will be conserved so just write the expression for the work done here so so force is equal to this so just put the value of force e square r by k x minus e it is a very simple integration 4k into this dx and what is the limit so limit is going to be small l by 2 to this is capital l by 2 okay and this is half mv square so it's very simple to solve from here okay so now you can integrate and after integrating you can put the limits and after putting limit you will get uh, this answer so e and this is under root of so under root of pi epsilon naught this r divided by m and this will be l square minus r square sorry this is not r square this is a small l square because if you put the limits you will get this kind of expression minus r l minus l this is the answer and if you apply some approximation here also so after applying approximations uh, you can see from here this uh, small r is much much less than the capital L small l. So this term will be quite negligible as compared to this term because you can see L minus L into L plus L. This term will be L minus L into L plus L. So L minus L multiplied with L plus L here and L minus L multiplied with R here. So obviously this term is uh, uh, quite negligible with respect to this term. So you can also apply some approximation and approximated answer can be written like this pi epsilon naught R divided by the mass and this is L square minus a small L square. Okay, so this is the answer.